my dolly. Medicine for your dolly? I think she's pretty sick. Oh, what's the matter with her? Her head keeps coming off. <laughs> well, how did you do that? I don't know if I can fix this. Fix it, Mommy. Fix it, please. Oh, fix well. it, fix Linda, it. Linda, please. I'm trying to get some work done. You wouldn't like it if your head kept coming off. <laughs> well, I think a little glue might pull her through the crisis. Hello, family. Hi, Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Mm. How are you? Hey, hello, Ma? darling. How do you feel? Fine. Hey, you, don't I get a little greeting from you? Hey. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Dad. What kind of greeting is that? Well, I'm busy with my homework. You're doing homework in broad <laughs> daylight? <laughs> How about that? Every day this week, he's come straight home from school and gotten right to his homework. Well, Kathy, don't just stand there. Get a thermometer. This kid is sick. Daddy, I'm not sick. Well, you're certainly not yourself. Whoever heard of you leaving the playground before they locked the gates? <laughs> Don't you believe a fella can turn over a new leaf? Sure. Where's the fella? Right here. Oh, you. Yeah, me. I want to be a credit to my family. I want to earn respect. I want to study. And he wants to stay away from the playground so Tony Miller won't beat him up. <laughs> you little squealer. Never mind. What's going on? Oh, it was nothing. Rusty. Don't tell me you've been fighting. Oh, you wouldn't call it a fight. What would you call it? Well, we were playing basketball, and this Tony Miller comes up like this. He says, okay, punk, give me the ball. I'm taking over. <laughs> and, and we said, no, he's got to wait his turn if he wants to play basketball. He says, okay, wise guys, put up your mitts. And right away, he starts swinging. <laughs> and I, I knew if I got in there and started slugging with him, he could outslug me easy. Uh -huh. So I was scientific, and I used strategy. Good boy, what'd you do? I ran. <laughs> you ran? Well, you think I'm gonna stay there and get killed? Tony's tough. Rusty, you did the only sensible thing. I sure think well, so. Well, I don't. <laughs> it's the silliest thing I ever heard of, you ran. Running never solves anything. Yes, and getting a bloody nose doesn't solve anything either. Oh, now, Kathy. Oh, honey, this Tony Miller is a ruffian. All right, so today he runs away from Tony Miller. Tomorrow he runs away from some other bully. Before you know it, he's running all the time. Hey, you're right. Of course I'm right. Now, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to practice up on my running. Cut that out! <laughs> you're not going to be doing any running. Next time a bully chooses you, you're going to face up to him. With what? With these. Danny, will you stop trying to make a roughneck out of him? After all, Rusty's just a little boy. Yeah, let's face it, Daddy, I'm not exactly Tarzan. <laughs> well, you're not Jane, either. <laughs> stop running yourself down. Why shouldn't I? Did you ever notice my arm? I can't even make a muscle. Look at that. It just lays over on its side. <laughs> Want me to hold it up for you, Rusty? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, look, uh, Linda, why don't you go in the kitchen with Mommy so Rusty and I can have a man-to-man -man talk? Huh? Oh, you fathers and your man-to-man -man talk. If you'd have a man-to-boy talk, it might make some sense. Okay, okay, dear. All right, now, what is all this dialogue about you not having any muscle and all that? You're just as strong as any boy your age. I am? Of course you are. You're not a trained athlete, but a boy your age isn't supposed to be. Besides, son, the real strength doesn't depend upon big muscles. It doesn't? No. The real strength is the strength you've got inside. Where? The strength in your heart. The strength that gives you the courage and the, the confidence. The strength that makes you a man. Honest? Of course. Now, if you're strong inside, any bully, Tony Miller, anybody else, has got to back off. And you are strong inside, son. You're strong as anybody. Don't ever forget it. I won't forget it, Daddy, and thanks. Okay. Remember now, the strength is on the inside. Yeah. Just one thing, though, Dad. What's that? How is all this strength on my inside gonna get through all the flab on my outside? <laughs> Daddy? Yeah? Come in now? All right, just a second, please. Boy, you're so impatient. There, I think you can come now. Ha! Voila! 
Welcome oh. to Danny Williams' gym. What's going on? How do you here? like that, huh? Dumbbells, medicine ball, stretchers, oh, everything. Honey. Exercise bike. Look at this over here. Pulleys, oh, everything. Real honey. professional pulleys. Isn't this ridiculous oh. and so extravagant? Spending so much money on equipment. It didn't cost me anything. Huh? A buddy of mine over at Vic Tanny's loaned me all this stuff. The barbells. <laughs> and... <laughs> That's a tooth, really. Well, I still think it's ridiculous. Ridiculous? You use a little psychology? You mean these are psychological weapons? Yes, ma'am, they are psychological weapons. Who do these bullies like Tony Miller want to fight? Anybody. Not anybody. They want to fight only the kids they're sure they can beat. When a boy stands up to him and shows he's not afraid, there'll be no fight. And you mean all of this is going to keep Rusty from being afraid? You bet. It's going to make him stop thinking he's a weakling. Honey, that's the whole problem. As long as Rusty thinks he's a weakling, the other kids will think it too. And in a world of boys, an attitude like that is a definite invitation to get slugged. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. How do you know? How do I know? I lived through it. Mm -hmm. I went through that whole thing when I was a kid in Toledo. I remember so well. I didn't think I could fight. I thought all the other kids in the neighborhood could lick me. And you know what? They did. <laughs> <laughs> I became the patsy of the block. When things were dull in our neighborhood and the boys had nothing to do, they used to say, let's go over and hit Danny. <laughs> I was 14 years old till my mother discovered my eyes were brown and not black. <laughs> <laughs> then I went on a farm. Spent the summer with Uncle Tanus. I've been Dundee, Michigan. I'll never forget it as long as I live. And I worked hard. Chopping wood and carrying water and pitching hay. One day, Uncle Tanus came to me and said, Danyan, you're a good worker. You're strong like bull. I got to thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, all this exercise to make me strong like a bull. The more I thought about it, the more confident I was that I was strong. When I went back to school that fall, honey, when the bullies started giving me the funny looks, I never budged. I just glared back. And you know something? They backed off. Yeah, they knew I had confidence. It worried them. And that's what I want to do for my boy. I want to give him confidence. Well, sweetheart, if you Daddy, think Daddy, I'm ready. Okay, son. Ah, well, there he is. <laughs> looks strong already, doesn't he? Ha-ha. <laughs> How about this boy, huh? Ah, you look great. Now, throw the towel away. We'll start off with some dumbbells here. Here we go now. Oh, for heaven's <laughs> me that are heavy. Oh, get out of here, will you? Oh, man. All right, I'll go, but I'll be standing by with the first aid kit. Now, let's, let's do something else for me. Come on, the old medicine ball, that's the way to start out. Now, let's sit down, sit down. Here, put your feet under mine over here. Okay. Like yeah, well, now, the idea is I go all the way back like this. I come up, I throw you the ball. You go all the way back. You come up, throw it to me. Okay. Got it? Here we go. And down, uh, and that's it. Now up you come. That's it. <laughs> uh, up, up you come. Rusty, you're supposed to get up. I would if somebody would get this thing off of me. <laughs> Why don't you just roll it? Roll me up. Let's, let, let's, let's try something else. Come on, come over here. Here, let's try the pull up Rusty boy. This is really, this will be better for you. Then we'll get back to that stomach stuff later. First, let's get our shoulders and arms. Now, grab a hold of this thing. See how easy that is? Real easy. And right, left. That's it. Very good. Isn't that fun? That's right. Now you got it. Now you got it by yourself. There he goes. There goes my son. Yes, sir. <laughs> I still think I should practice running. No. <laughs> Won't give up so soon. We just started. Now, wait a minute. Yeah? Let's, let me get this routine properly. I guarantee you, boy, in a week's time, you're going to be strong as can be. Here we are. Here's the old barbells right here. Barbells? Yeah, these are great. This, now, grab a hold of those. Now, we go down and then up. Up, no, not down with the knees. And all the way up. Yeah, great. Wonderful. 
Look at that. Look at your muscle flexion. Hey, they're not no. lying down anymore. Of course they're not. You got it. You got it, boy. You got it. I know you got it. Atta boy. Yes, you have. Sweetheart, I thought you were going to go to bed early. Well, I waited up to talk to you about Rusty. Oh, wait till you see what I got for him. Hmm? More weights for barbells. More weights. Oh, honey, don't you think this has gone far enough? What? I know what you're trying to do, but it just doesn't work. Instead of building him up, you're tearing him down. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Now, wait a minute, Kathy. No, you wait a minute, Danny. Oh, honey. I have watched that poor child struggling all week with Baby, those weights. I know the trouble he's been having as well as you do. Now, this is going to solve it. I've got these weights Daddy? here. Russ? Daddy? What are you doing up at this hour? You've got school tomorrow. I gotta talk to you, Daddy. But about what? Well, Daddy... Daddy... What is it, boy? I'm sorry I've let you down. What? Well, I'd like to be what you want me to be, but... I just don't have it. Now, Russ, look, son. I know, I know you'd like me to be strong so you could be proud of me, but, well, I guess you're just stuck with the wrong kid. <laughs> <laughs> stuck, you little monkey. What do you mean, stuck? I love you just as you are. I wouldn't want you any other way. I think you're the greatest kid in the whole world. I thank God every day that you're mine. Even though I'm a weakling? Oh, stop saying that. <laughs> You're not a weakling. You keep on exercising, you're gonna be strong as a bull. These exercises are gonna make you real strong. Well, I don't know, Daddy. How can I exercise to get strong when I'm not strong enough to exercise? <laughs> <laughs> don't be impatient. These things take time. Now, you keep exercising. I know you're having trouble with the barbell. But keep lifting it every day. And one of these days, boy, you watch and see the magic moment will come. You'll feel a sudden surge of power. And you'll lift that barbell up like it was a feather. Take my word for it. It's got to happen. So don't give up. I won't, Daddy. I'll keep at it till it comes. Atta boy. Now, now, run and get some sleep. Sleep is important, too, you know. Okay, good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night. Good night, Russ. Boy, when that sudden surge of power comes, will my muscles be surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Danny. Yes, Jane. Is that some more of your psychology? What, dear? What is that? That sudden surge of power, the magic moment. Danny, that boy believes you. Well, why shouldn't he believe me? Darling, how were you going to face him when he suddenly realized that the magic moment has never happened? Honey, but it's gonna happen. Oh, sure, sure. In a couple of years after exercising and no, exercising. No, 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 Keep your voice down. It's gonna happen right now, real soon. Oh, how? Please to observe fiendish oriental mind. <laughs> Weights. <gasps> oh, oh, they're very light. Aluminum. I had the prop man at the club get them for me. Oh? Hello. Hmm? And Rusty falls asleep. I go into his room, slip off the heavyweights, put on these real lightweights. <laughs> now, the next time he goes to lift the barbell, voila, <laughs> the magic moment. Danny, that is cheating. Oh, sweetheart. What cheating? Is it cheating to want to give your son confidence? Look, if he just thinks he's strong, that's good enough. It's his mental attitude that needs building up, nothing else. I guarantee you, before long, he is going to stand up to that bully Tony Miller, smiling with confidence. If he loses one tooth, one little tooth, I'm going to hold you responsible. Why should he lose a tooth? 
It could be very easy standing there smiling with confidence. <laughs> you kept on exercising, that, that surge of power would come? Yeah, bet I can lift it with one hand. How about See? that, boy? Isn't that the most amazing thing you ever saw? Mm, it sure is. You feel that surge of power, don't you, boy? Yeah, it sure feels great. Ah. You can even see the muscles to get the right angle. <laughs> I see this in the mirror. Good boy. Boy, wait till the guys see me. <laughs> what you yelling about? Oh, hi, kid. Take a look. Notice anything? Yeah, you walk funny. <laughs> I mean this. Don't you see the muscle? Where? <laughs> I'll get lost. You're just a kid. You know, I think I'll have Louise fix me a steak for breakfast. I think I'll eat it raw. <laughs> I still think he walks funny. <laughs> oh, hi, Danny. I thought it was the children coming home from school. Aren't they home yet? Mm-mm. And how's my strong man? <laughs> well, if he's anything like he was when he went off to school today, he's probably joined the circus by now. <laughs> and you should have seen him when he came home for lunch. He spent an hour in front of the mirror. I swear he even flexed his freckle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, he's got the confidence. That's all that was important, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, Dad. Hello. Hello, Danny. How are you, dear? Where's Rusty? Hi. Still at the playground. Still at the playground, see? Nobody's chased them up the playground now. Playing basketball? Nope. Baseball? Nope. What's he doing? Waiting around to beat up Tony Miller. <laughs> he can do it now. He's got muscles. Oh, no. You and your psychology. No, 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 wait a minute, Kathy. Well, where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? Well, honey, please leave him alone, will you? I tell you, if he's not afraid, if he stands up to that Tony Miller, he'll back off. There'll be no fight. You can bet on it. All right, I'll bet on it. And if you lose, are you going to pay off with your son's bruises? Oh, come you on. know something? You're like the general who sends his troops into battle without any bullets. They can wave their guns and have a fine show as long as the enemy retreats. But, General, what happens if the enemy starts firing? Wait, I'll get my hat and go with you. <laughs> there he is, Danny. Oh, honey, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, thank heavens, but none of those boys are Tony Miller. Huh? Let's get him out of here while we have a chance. Please leave him alone, will you, Kathy? He can get over a black eye or a bloody nose, but he'll never get over the humiliation of knowing you ran away. But, honey, I'm scared for You're him. You're scared? My knees are knocking, sweetheart. Now, don't worry. Look, look, there's Tony Miller, that boy over there, see? Give me that ball, stupid. I'm taking over. Sure, Tony, you can have it. Oh, no, he can't. You just wait till we're through, stupid. Who are you calling stupid? He didn't mean it. Did you, Rusty? Sure I mean it. He's not only stupid, he's a stupid drip. Rusty! <laughs> you trying to be a wise guy or something? I'll give you just three to get off the court. Okay, start counting. Huh? You heard me, start counting. Okay, one, two, 
Look, I'm warning you. If you don't get off the court, I'll knock your block off. Stop the small talk and finish counting. Look, I'll give you a break and count to five. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Hey, look, Jimmy, you can count. He's not as stupid as I thought he was. <laughs> Four and a half. Four and three quarters. Uh, if I didn't have my good sweater on, you'd be sorry. Hey, drip. The ball. And don't throw it. Hand it over. Nice. <laughs> away for a coward's okay but a fellow with spunk will win the day once there was a little old nut thought he'd go and challenge a cat no one could make that nut scat he kept pounding that cat cause he had high hopes he had high hopes he had High apple pie in the sky, hope so. Anytime you're feeling low, instead of letting go, just remember that gnat. Oops, there goes a weary beating up cat. Russ, yeah. Russell, come down here and practice this song with I me. I can't, I'm busy working out. Now, if we don't rehearse, we're going to be a flop at the PTA picnic. Come down here. Daddy, do you want my muscles to go flabby again? <laughs> what this song has got to say is more important than your muscles. Now, come on. Rusty? Yeah? Can I show my friend Maureen your barbell? Sure, bring her over. But don't you girls try and lift them. You'd strain yourselves. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'd rather take the down <laughs> The, the, that's what I, I was trying to tell you a little while ago, see, Russ, I, uh, I, I put light weights in those barbells. Are you trying to get me killed? <laughs> Son, I, I was just trying to give you confidence, that's all. Do you realize that I stood up to Tony Miller, little old flabby me, <laughs> to break me in two with his bare hands? and yet you made me stand up to him like I was Samson. You were Samson, because he backed off. If you got spunk, you can stop any lunk. They're just never too big to go kerplunk. Now sing. Now. Once there was a strange little goose uh -huh. got into a beef with a moose. Uh -huh. No one could tear that goose loose. He got built in that moose cause he had high hopes. He had high hopes. He had high apple pie in the sky hopes. You'll find that when you're losing ground, if you stick around, you may well get a truce. Oops, there goes a tired, bedraggled old moose. Oops, there goes a tired, bedraggled old moose. Oops, Oops there goes a tired, bedraggled old moose. A bully's only full of air. If you take his dare, all the air will go pop. Oops, there goes another bully. Kerplop, there goes another bully. Kerplop, there goes another bully. Kerplop. 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 Kerplop.